Hello, hello, welcome to my channel where we do all things planning. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Anyways, so I have here my passion planner, a weekly one. It is a small size with a Monday start. And as you can see, one of my biggest things that I like to do is use these post-its to kind of remind myself of what all is happening in this upcoming week just because I would like rather use these post-its than put them in pencil and then have to erase them and then forgetting and all of those different things. You know how it goes. Anyways, so for this spread, we're actually going to be using some of these stickers that, as you can see, they're very much used, but there's still enough that I'm going to pick around and use from. And then I also have here um, some, my icon stickers, sorry, <laughs> words today. I got my icon stickers. I do have these linked in the description of the video, so I highly recommend checking them out. I'm going to combo these two little washi tapes and of course I have one of my favorite new machines which is a Make ID label maker which I've been using for titles. They are transparent so it does help a lot to paste or put them on top of other things and I've been obsessed with it. Let's be real. Anyways, first thing I'm going to do is actually white out some of these sections because, yes, the washi that I'm actually going to be using today is very, very translucent. So I definitely want to make sure that I can see what the colors are for this washi tape and not necessarily see this black thing behind it. So just let me go ahead and white out some of these sections. In addition, I love, love, love to white out my Sundays unless I have a shift that day, but usually I like to white out my Sundays and use that column for goals and other things. So I'll be doing that. Okay, as I get ready here, I'm going to try this new thing today. I'm going to try to do everything before even adding the washi tape. Usually by now I am adding the tape just a little bit, not fully adding all the stickers, but at least like on these little borders. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. Obviously experimenting, seeing if I like it or not. Every single week I try to do something new and this is my new. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is actually time block all the things that are happening this week taking in consideration everything that was on those post-it notes. So I love to use this stencil. It just makes it a lot more crisp whenever I'm doing all of these lines to be able to do my time blocking. Also, I added what this stencil is in the description. So highly recommend checking them out because it is absolutely amazing and it just makes it so much more fun. <laughs> Anyways, so what I'm doing here is actually time blocking. Again, I'm using my post-it notes for reference. And one of the biggest things that I've learned with using a planner for the past, I don't even know how many years, six, seven years, is um, having something that has basically everything that's happening during your week is so beneficial for actually getting things done. Because you're able to see everything, you're able to, you know, make notes to see if, you know, the methods that you're working actually worked, try new things every single week, that's what I like to do, and it just makes it so much easier to actually get things done. Whenever you're able to see everything, whenever you're able to plan everything, highly, highly recommend some form of time blocking because it just... I don't know, for some reason it alleviates your mind of like overwhelm, over clutter, because you have it all planned out. You took a moment to, you know, really figure out what are the times that are being utilized for different things, what is the time extra that you have for the week that you could add new things. It's just so beneficial to have a time blocker. So anyways, I could totally go on and on and on about using this, but as you can see, I'm obsessed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with my time blocking.
Okay, now that that is all added, I, I'm not sure about the whole washi tape or like not doing the washi tape yet, but let's continue on, see how it goes. So this bottom right section is usually where I add my quote of the week. This is something that I want to be able to focus on or like some topics, some themes, something <laughs> basically that I want to make it a focus that I'm able to look at, be reminded of, especially week by week things change or let me just say my goals, you know, change or whatever I'm trying to look at, focus on, whatever it is. So I try to mimic that with my quote of the week. So let me just go ahead and add that in. Okay, going into the other bottom section. So we're going to the left section. This, as you can see, obviously already has some lines and I actually just take advantage of it and make a tracker. So I, <laughs> a few weeks ago, basically made a mistake and added a really thick border to cover up something else. And I actually loved how it looked and have been doing that ever since. And yes, it was from a mistake of very, very, good mistake. So that's why I like to experiment. That's why I try new things because you never know. Maybe you actually like what you did as a mistake. So anyways, this is usually where I add my tracker for my um, partnership business. So this is something that I just like to make sure that I know what's happening during the week, making sure that I do all the things that I can to be able to, you know, see success in that business. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up really quick because I also, actually side note, I also add my new um, reflection section on this section, on this section. Um, that was hard to say, not going to lie. Um, but it's usually where I kind of like brain dump. If I have ideas, I write it down, just have a little section where I'm able to do that. So anyways, let me just go ahead and finish this up. Okay, now we're gonna try to do the washi tape. I don't think I like waiting until now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest because now I have to like really cut it to be very, very specific. Whereas like if I do it at the beginning, I'm just adding it in. So see, now I have to like, I didn't align it well with my lettering and then I don't even know how I'm gonna even approach this other side on the left ah it's gonna be like okay note to self don't do it again because it's just complicating more things so i learned my lesson anyways i'm gonna go ahead add some washi tape and then do some more things with some lovely stickers so let me just go ahead and finish this up really quick <laughs> 